Well, Harper's not the only one getting a lot of attention on this trip. Canada's official delegation has raised more than just eyebrows here at home. There is outright anger from some over who's been included and the views they represent. Joanna Remiliotis has that part of the story. This is the Canada the Conservatives want the Middle East to see, a strong, unequivocal ally of Israel. More than 200 supporters were invited to come along, dozens of conservative politicians, business and religious leaders, including evangelical groups who ardently support Israel, but may not reflect the social values of most Canadians. The Christian contingent is largely conservative. Evangelicals who believe Israel is the site of the second coming and openly denounce homosexuality, abortion and same-sex marriage. The things we are doing here at Crossroads. In fact, one delegate, Don Simmons, is with a missionary group that got tangled up in a messy controversy last year after referring to homosexuality as a sexual sin while running a federally funded project in Uganda where gays and lesbians are persecuted. Why would they have um, people with these um, values and, and these opinions as part of such an important delegation. It is curious, but some analysts say not surprising. Although he rarely speaks publicly about his own religious views, Harper hails from conservative Christian roots. The trip to Israel, says this expert, is more than a trade mission. For him, this is one of the most important emotional and religious uh, responses he can make. Uh, as part of that conservative Christian movement, the place of Israel uh, is, is critical. But those more critical of Israeli politics didn't get an invite and say Harper risks alienating them. Bringing Arabs along would have shown how diverse Canada is, which this delegation does not reflect. But also it would have shown Canadians that this Prime Minister speaks for all Canadians. Taxpayers are footing the bill for 30 of the 200 plus delegates. It's not clear who those 30 are. As for Ottawa, it says a delegation of this size will always include views that some might not agree with and say members do not reflect the views of the Canadian government. Joanna Brumeliotis, CBC News, Toronto. Tomorrow, the Prime Minister heads to the site of a bird sanctuary which is being renamed in his honor. He'll also receive an honorary degree from Tel Aviv University before moving on to Jordan.